This has been a hard one for us. So let's go over the basics of this course. I'll give you my opinion and I'll give you some tips for using this class. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, the Handmade Homeschooler, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review of Apologia's Chemistry. Now this is the high school chemistry. So this is like grade 10-ish. And we're gonna talk about this one. This one is a really hard one. I will admit, I really didn't wanna do this review, but I've been getting so many requests to do this that I'm just gonna have to be honest and tell you how this has been going this year. This has been a hard one for us, so let's go over the basics of this course. I'll give you my opinion and I'll give you some tips for using this class. So if you're new to my channel, I do all kinds of curriculum book reviews and this is my main thing. I review, I'm a curriculum reviewer and I try to help parents find the right fit for their homeschool. So if you would like to see more of these videos, hit the like and the subscribe button and join our community. I also have a Facebook group down below for Christian homeschooling parents and I have lots of curriculum freebies and trials and things like that down below in the description box. So my oldest son is 16 years old. He is in grade 10 and we are at the end of the year. We have been using Apology as Chemistry since the beginning of the year. Now I'm just gonna come out and say it, this class is not for the weak. <laughs> Okay, and I will be really, really honest here, and even though it's really embarrassing, oh well, whatever. I did not do well in chemistry, and when I say I did not do well, let's just say I barely passed, and I was sweating bullets when I knew that it was time for chemistry for my oldest. I knew that this was not going to be a fun subject for me, and it seems like he's following in my footsteps. The apple doesn't fall far from this tree and chemistry is not his thing either. Now, I'm not saying that this course is going to be difficult for everyone. I'm just saying it was difficult for us. So I do want to make that distinction here. When it comes to science, I really like Apologia. I feel like they are probably the most in-depth. They are probably the one of the best, if not the best, company to go with when it comes to science, especially for the high school grades. They are so thorough and it's rare if we e ever even get to the end of the book by the end of the year because there's just so much and I feel like you really get what you pay for. Like you, you get your money's worth with Apologia. However, we struggled. We, we were on the struggle bus with this one the entire year, like from the get go. So let's go over what's in the package. All right, so the first thing you're obviously gonna need is a textbook. This is the Apology of Chemistry textbook. It is quite large and inside of this textbook, this is the third edition, so this is the most updated version of this textbook that you can get at this moment. And I'm looking to see how many modules there are here. Okay, there's 16 modules. For reference, we are in April and we are in module nine we took this very slow. So just to let you know where we are with chemistry, we are in module nine or maybe 10, maybe we started 10 last week. We're in spring break right now, so my brain is really not in school mode. You have everything from the reading to the experiments and everything in between in this book, okay? So this is the book. It's quite a heavy book too. All right, the other thing you're going to need is the student notebook. It's gonna have the same cover and it's quite large. If you are familiar with Apologia, if you're just getting into Apologia High School, these notebooks are a lot bigger than the elementary. So the junior notebook and the regular notebook are probably about half of this size. So this is double what we're used to with my youngest. My youngest, his is only like, half this size and he just finished up his entire book over a week ago. So he's been done with his and we're like 
a little over halfway done with high school, just to give you an idea of the levels and the differences. So inside of this, you're gonna have the math problems because chemistry is a lot of math. You're gonna have, um, you're gonna have questions about the readings. You are going to have the actual schedule. So the breakdown of the actual schedule that you're gonna be doing, like the assignments and things like that, they're in this book, they're not in the textbook. So you are gonna need this book. If you're gonna do chemistry, you gotta have the book. I mean, I don't really see any way around not having this book and being able to complete the course correctly. All of the answers and things like that, I believe are in this book as well. The labs are in this book. So you're gonna have labs because this is a lab course. I don't know if you're in a state that requires a certain amount of labs for graduation, but I am. I think we have to have two in our state to graduate. This counts as one of his labs because he's doing lab reports and experiments. So these experiments, every experiment that you do, you're gonna fill out a lab report and that's part of the grading system within this course. So in these lab reports, he makes all kinds of things like hypothesis, the steps that he took, the results, all of that is in here. Plus the step-by-step -step directions to the actual experiment is in here as well. So that's just kind of a quick overview of what's in the notebook. The other two things that we have is the test booklet and then the answer book. So this is the solution to the problems in, in the notebook. This is also the test, this is the study guides. All of this is inside of this book. This book's been really helpful. Definitely recommend this one. And then this is the actual test booklet. There are, I think, tests in here that you can use. So technically you don't need this book, but this book's really helpful because all the solutions and the study guides stuff is in here. So this one's actually been really helpful. This is just the tests and I just keep all of his tests in here. So like all of his tests are in here and finished all, all the way up to where we have um, stopped at this moment. And I just keep them in here to keep them handy. And then at the end of the year, I'll take them out. I'll hole punch them and put them in his notebook portfolio type thing. The last thing, and this is optional, but I'm gonna go into this a little bit, is the video instruction thumb drive. This is what it looks like. And I'm gonna talk about this one. So for the last two courses, the last high, two high school courses we have had, we have bought the thumb drive. And the thumb drive basically has the instructor teaching the modules. So all of the modules that they're reading about in the textbook, she is teaching the information on the screen. She's showing the breakdown of the math of the problems that they're doing and there's a breakdown of all the experiments, which is great because if you don't have like an ingredient or something that you need for one of the experiments, she's doing it on the thumb drive. So they, the kids can still follow along, do the experiment, see what was supposed to happen and still fill out their lab report to get their lab credit. So that was vital for us. Highly, highly, highly recommend this, especially if you struggled through chemistry like me, you want this. It made all the difference. Seriously, this this right here made all the difference between me pulling my hair out and him passing the class. <laughs> it was it was like I had, you know, it gave me that peace of mind that he was still getting the class on video and he understood it so much better with this. And my son said this was extremely helpful for him. Now these are not cheap. I buy them secondhand at a secondhand homeschool store in my state. <sighs> even if I couldn't find this secondhand, I would still buy it at full price. Like I'm not even joking. I would I would spend the like 175 or whatever this costs for this thumb drive. Yes, it's expensive totally worth it. I cannot stress that if you struggle with chemistry like I did, this is going to be your buddy right here. The last thing that I had for this class was the chemistry set, the lab kit, which was, which with most of this right here was all donated to us from Nature's Workshop Plus. That was such a huge help throughout the year just to have all of the chemistry things there. So 
highly recommend that because buying all of that separate and buying it on the Apologia website is going to be a lot more expensive if you than if you just went over to Nature, Nature's Workshop Plus and just buy it all right there. So a little money saving tip for you, head on over there. I will pop their link down below where you can go and purchase that. Let's talk first about what my son says about this class. So I knew pretty much what he would say before I asked him, but I went ahead and asked him anyway. So I asked him today, so it's April, so he's been doing this class since August, and he's we're almost to the end of the year, and he said that this class was very challenging. I'm not saying that this is an AP class, and I'm not somebody who's qualified enough to judge whether or not this is more of an AP level class. What I am saying is, is this is a challenging class. This is not a easy class. Um, this is not one of those classes where you can just purchase it and set it on the shelf and just, you know, expect to, to be done with it in 10 minutes. This is not that kind of class. This is a class where it took probably a good 45 minutes, sometimes longer than that, for him to get through his lesson. Now, every day was a little bit different and depending on how well he understood the lesson, that made a difference too. It also made a difference if it was experiment day or if he was watching his lesson on the computer. That also makes a huge difference. So the time level with this, it's really hard for me to pin down and give you like a minute by minute play because every day was different. Some days you're just gonna be doing reading. Some days you're gonna be reading and answering questions. And then if you are like us and by the thumb drive, some days you're gonna be reading and then watching the lesson. And there were many times where we had to go back and re-watch the lesson because we just were not getting it and we needed that extra, you know, review to go back and see what we missed. Chemistry is a lot of math, so, and I'm not, that great with math, which is why I use teaching textbooks. So I already knew this was going to be a struggle. So I was fully prepared that this was going to be one of those classes that was going to be a little bit more difficult for us. However, would I recommend another company for chemistry? I don't know of any other company other than Masterbooks that does chemistry. And I don't believe they have like the thumb drive to help get through it. And I know that we did a chemistry before but I think it was more like a middle school level this is the only high school level chemistry that I know of out there from the bigger brands I'm sure that there are some out there um, this is the only one that we have done so it's really hard for me to stack it up against other curriculum companies and I don't want to do that without even looking at their textbooks you know what I mean I want to be fair about it I know Apologia is more rigorous so that is also playing into this here apologia that has a more rigorous curriculum we love apologia so don't think that just because we struggle that i don't recommend this wholeheartedly i do i'm just saying just be prepared if you are not that great at chemistry get the thumb drive it might be it might be worth your while so my son definitely did struggle. This was definitely that class that every day we were like, oh, it's chemistry time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hold on to your hats for the next hour. You know, it wasn't one that we looked forward to during the day. Now, some tips that I have for getting through this. My biggest tip is take it at your own pace. Do not feel like you have to follow by their schedule to a T. What got us through this class was two main things. One, we slowed down, meaning we probably should be in like module 15, but we're in module nine or 10 because we took this slow and we did not move on to the next module until we mastered the module that we were in. And that made a huge difference in the pace of the course, but it also made a huge difference in his grade and his understanding of the material. Now, for a lot of states, and I can't say for every state, but for our state, what constitutes as an earned credit for high school is the hours that you spent in the course, not if you finished the book. And let's be real, I don't think I ever finished a book in high school, like cover to cover, going through my four years of public high school. It's not typical for people to finish the book. So don't feel like you have to finish it 
to get that credit. You don't, you just have to spend usually a certain amount of hours. So we log our hours spent in the class throughout the year. And when we hit that, we're done. We have spent all the time, we have enough credit hours to say that that credit is earned. And then we can decide on when to stop. The other thing is we took open book tests. I did not force him to do closed book tests constantly. I felt like the math was hard enough to do without having a closed book test. So even it's really hard to cheat in this course, even with an open book test. The only thing that he maybe cheated on, and I don't even I I don't even think that that's really cheating, is just some of the. Um, some of the book questions that were like multiple choice but most of this test is all math and equations and formulas and things like that it's not stuff he can really cheat with anyway and he needed to reference some of the formulas so it made more sense for us and it gave him more of a peace of mind and took his stress level way down when we started doing open book tests for chemistry so highly recommend do an open book test if you're struggling with this class it will make all the difference so that is my review of Apologia's chemistry and I'm really happy that we're almost done with this class. <laughs> Sorry, I love Apologia, I do. This one was just, this was a rough one for us and I'm really glad that I'm gonna be done with chemistry in a couple of weeks. So yay for us, yay for my son. <laughs> so um, hopefully that answers most of your questions about this course. And of course, I always recommend Apologia. Apologia is a great science company. They are the king of science when it comes to science classes and they are very thorough, very, very thorough. <laughs> and we absolutely love pretty much everything they put out. So I can't see myself not using Apologia just to, to put it in perspective. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and as always, happy homeschooling.